All right, today we're going to explore getting your schools and classes set up in Seesaw with CSV. My name is Yvonne Post and I am a training and professional development specialist here at Seesaw. So this webinar is for admin who plan to use the CSV method to create Seesaw classes this back to school. So just a quick note, if you will be making any changes to the number of student licenses or schools using Seesaw, please go ahead and reach out to our Seesaw support team. We went ahead and placed that link in the chat for you. Today, we're going to explore our CSV rostering method, which allows you to upload data from your SIS into Seesaw to create your classes. We will also go over data cleanup steps after you've rostered to ensure you have accurate analytics for the new school year. And last but not least, we will share our training and PD opportunities. So now let's go ahead and explore how to set up classes in Seesaw using a CSV. So one of the benefits of Seesaw for Schools is that administrators can create Seesaw classes for their teachers in bulk, ensuring that all teachers and students can log in and use Seesaw. Before we get started, let's make sure that you're signed into your Seesaw for Schools admin account. So in order to access your admin dashboard, you must have an admin account in Seesaw. To log in as a Seesaw for Schools administrator, you will need to navigate to app.seesaw.me while on your computer, then click I'm a Seesaw for Schools administrator. You'll see that it's right at the very bottom. Now that you've logged in, you'll be able to create your CSV using our Seesaw for Schools setup template. So to upload your class data into Seesaw, you will need to use our Seesaw for Schools setup template and fill it out. So to access the template from your school admin dashboard, just head to the overview tab and locate the import class roster section on the right hand side. Then you'll click import and edit class rosters. So in the chat, you've no, uh, you'll notice that we went ahead and placed a link to the template for you. Then in the pop-up that appears, you're just gonna click add new classes, then either make a copy of the Google Sheets template or simply download the Microsoft Excel template. So most of your data can be copied and pasted directly from your student data management software right into the template. So you will need to gather the following information to fill out your CSV of classes. So you'll need a unique class name for each class, grade level, teacher first name and last names, teacher emails, student names, student IDs, and if you are using email or Google sign-in, you will need to include a student email address. So for email sign-in, you will also need to include a password for each student. So please note that student IDs must be a unique ID that will not change during their entire career at your school. If you have previously used Seesaw for Schools and have students who are returning, you will use the student ID you assigned them last year. When you're creating your classes in the CSV, we recommend the following class structures. For younger students, create one homeroom for class for each, of your for each of your teachers and add any specialists as co-teachers. And then for your older students, if teachers and specialists have their own class periods, 
we suggest creating individual classes for each period. If specialists visit or push into a homeroom class, we recommend adding them as co-teachers to that homeroom class. If you wanna learn more about other options for your specialist, we have added a resource for you in the chat. For grade level, you will select the appropriate grade level for the class. So only one grade level can be selected per class regardless of the actual grade levels in that class. However, the grade level of the class can be adjusted after the CSV import if necessary. You can input other for classes with multiple grade levels or for, sub for subject specific classes. Once classes have been created, teachers, have the ability to edit the grade level of the class if needed for their students. So you will also need to select a sign-in mode for each class. After classes have been created, teachers can edit class sign-in mode if needed for their students. So younger students in the lower grades, they typically use class code sign-in. So students will log into their class by scanning a unique QR code. The CSV import will default to class code one-to-one. -one. However, teachers or admin can set it to share devices after the import. For your older students in the upper grades, they typically use email or Google sign-in. If students do not have email addresses, you can choose class code sign-in. So in the chat, we went ahead and placed some resources for you about the differences between sign-in modes. So here you'll just fill in the template with information for each class using one row per student in the class. This is an example CSV, and it can be found in the example class roster tab of the Seesaw for Schools setup template. But don't forget, there is a field explanation tab on the Seesaw for Schools setup template to help you if you are unsure of what information to enter in the template. Remember to save and export your spreadsheet as a CSV. Other file formats are not supported. If you need to make changes to your class rosters, please do not re-import the same CSV. If you re-import the same CSV more than once, you will create duplicate classes. If you need to make edits to classes after they are created, you will need to use the CSV bulk edit tool. We have added a resource for you in the chat about the CSV bulk edit tool. So once you have saved your filled out version of the CSV template, you are ready to upload your class data to Seesaw. So first, you're gonna navigate back to your admin school dashboard and from the overview tab, look on the right-hand side to find import class rosters and click on import and edit class rosters. In the pop-up that's going to appear, simply click Add New Classes. Then click Select CSV from Computer to upload your CSV. Select your saved CSV and the import will begin. When your upload is complete, you will receive a summary of the classes, students, and teachers who were created and the existing teachers and students who were updated. Now, if an error message or warning appears, read it carefully and return to your original file to fix any errors. After fixing the errors, save a new CSV and upload again. Just a note, data errors will not upload data. You will need to fix the errors in your CSV and try uploading again. Data warnings will upload data. 
So please make sure you are comfortable with the changes that the data warnings will allow for before you finish your import. So we have added some resources for you in the chat to guide you with troubleshooting any CSV errors. So once there are no more errors, you will have the option to click preview. Scroll through the changes and double check your data. Click finish import to import your CSV. And that's it. Your classes, teachers, and students will begin to appear in your admin dashboard as the import processes. Teachers will see their new classes and students when they log into Seesaw. So teachers who are new to Seesaw will get an email prompting them to activate their account. Now that you have imported your rosters, you will want to take a few minutes to clean up your classes and student data on your school dashboard in order to ensure accurate analytics for your new school year. You will want to archive any classes from previous years and any student accounts that are not connected to current classes. You can find tools to clean up these classes and your student accounts in the admin tools section on the right-hand side of your overview tab. So admin, you can bulk archive classes in order to clean up any classes that were created outside of your roster import for this school year. So this may include classes from previous years. So first, from the overview tab on your school dashboard, just head to admin tools on the right-hand side and click on archive old classes. Next, you're going to select a date to archive any classes created before that date. So to archive classes created before your CSV import, we suggest using the date before you uploaded your CSV as a guide. So for example, if, your import, if you imported your rosters on August 1st, 2002, then we recommend archiving classes that were created before July 31st of 2022. So again, just a note, it is important to bulk archive classes before you archive students because you can only archive students if they are not enrolled in an active class. Once your classes for this year have been set up and you have archived old classes, you can bulk archive student accounts that are not enrolled in an active class. This will ensure accurate analytics and data for this school year. So first, go back to your admin tools, click on archive student accounts, and Seesaw is going to tell you exactly how many students are going to be archived. Next, click archive old student accounts to continue. So please note that no data will be deleted without your permission. Archive students will still be on your dashboard, but they will not be taking up licenses and you can restore them at any time. So in the chat, we have added some additional resources that review the process of bulk archiving student accounts. So our dedicated support team is here to help you with the following. Any admin changes, domain changes, student information system changes, troubleshooting CSV errors, or any other questions that you may have. We have added our support request form in the chat, and this is truly the best way to get an expedited answer to your questions. So the Seesaw Learning Hub is an online portal where teachers and administrators invest in their professional growth to elevate learning in the classroom and explore the best ways to use Seesaw with their learning communities. The Learning Hub is separate from the Seesaw app. So teachers and administrators just need to sign in 
and create an account at learn.seesaw.me to start learning at your own pace. So you are able to pause and return to the courses at any time and continue exactly where you left off. So the Learning Hub is broken down into pathways of short courses to help teachers and you as administrators get started and or go deeper with your Seesaw learning. So here's an example of a pathway, the Getting Started Pathway. You can see that there are five different courses within this pathway. We also have a Deepen Learning Pathway, a pathway for specialists, a Seesaw Lessons Pathway, a pathway for our Seesaw community members, and an Administrator Pathway, which I encourage you to check out. Teachers and administrators can begin and pause the different courses and again, complete it at your own pace. Our PD catalog outlines all of our trainings and professional development opportunities that are available for you as Seesaw administrators. We continue to have our train the trainer support for in-house trainers, coaches, ambassadors, or our Seesaw certified educators. You can browse our resources, our free PD kits at web dot seesaw dot me forward slash seesaw for schools pd we highly recommend bookmarking this page for quick access so here you can find more detailed information about pd formats and sessions that are available you can also find setup steps and resources here we recommend that you bookmark this page for quick access for you as administrators on our training page, you will find upcoming free webinars that you and your staff can register for to support you in getting up and running with Seesaw for back to school and beyond. So I encourage you to check this page out because we have tons of back to school webinars for your teachers starting as early as next week. So Seesaw Connect is our free virtual conference for every Seesaw educator and administrator. It started Monday, July 25th, and is still going on right now. You can still enroll and you have access to 30 plus conference courses. You will have um, access until August 14th. So admin you also have the ability to nominate educators to fast track to ambassador status. This guarantees successful Seesaw implementation and Seesaw PD for your school. You can talk with your CSM to get your nomination type form. If you're responsible for training other teachers or supporting their implementation of Seesaw, you have the opportunity to fast track into our Seesaw Ambassador community. This is available only to you as a paid school. This gives you access to a network of support with other Seesaw leaders. Again, you can nominate up to three leaders at the district or school level to fast track. So in the chat, we have also linked our Seesaw Pioneer program as well. All right, so now that we have covered how to set up classes with ACSB and all of our available resources, let's see what questions we have. Let's see, Ooh, we are doing really good. We've answered some questions in the Q&A. Let me check the chat. Looks like we've answered some questions in the chat. All right. Are there any additional questions that we can answer for you today? Okay, looks like we have a question here. I tried to nominate three people, but there were spots for five. Do I leave the fourth and fifth link? Oh, looks like we got an answer. Okay, you're on it. Oh, 
I tried to nominate three people, but there were spots for five. Do I leave the fourth and fifth blank or do I get five? I would reach out to your CSM on your account and clarify with them if you get those additional two spaces or not. And if not, you can always reach out to a community as well. Oh, where do I find my CSM? Let's see. I can actually, I've got Seesaw open. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show me. Oh, it's not going to show me. If you go to your dashboard, um, because I'm in a test school right now, at the very top, if you click on your gear icon and you go to your school settings and your subscription information, you will see where it says to renew or modify your subscription. You should have the name of the person. Your CSM will be there. And if you cannot find it, um, feel free to reach out um, to our support team and we can guide you in the right place as well. Okay, there's a question in the chat. I nominated a teacher, but she has not received any email yet. Who do I contact? I'm going to put a, a contact for you. Um, okay. Any other questions that we can help answer for you today? The teacher in me is giving you wait time. I've had some great questions so far. Are there any other resources that you need? Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us today, and we hope to see you again soon here at Seesaw. Bye, everyone.